An interesting question, what do companies need to do with their cash today? Uh, you noticed we announced uh, this morning the acquisition of uh, Lucas Meyer for, for 810 million US dollars. We're extremely pleased that our balance sheet is as strong as it is, that we were able to take advantage of the current valuations and pick up this great asset. So Lucas Meyer Cosmetics here, if you can run us through it, 810 million US dollars. Which direction does this take you in now as a specialty chemicals player? Why this particular acquisition? What does it do in terms of benefiting the company's portfolio? Yeah, if you look at specialty chemicals in general, uh, arguably the cosmetics specialty um, ingredient segment is the most attractive segment, both in terms of growth, in terms of uh, profitability. So it takes us in the direction of becoming even more specialty chemicals, both from a growth point of view as well as from a margin point of view. Hey, comrade, really good to um, speak to you today. Um, I'm just looking at one of the analysts. Um, I'll tell you who it is, actually. It's Jeffrey it's saying, look, um, we think it's a very good fit for you. Uh, could mean uh, some decent size upgrades to your quality of your care chemicals business. But they, uh, they haven't seen any specific revenue or cost synergies disclosed. Do you want to disclose some? Yeah, well, we have disclosed uh, some some of the, these synergies that you're talking about. So the headline numbers are: this is uh, this is a hundred million um, U.S. dollars business, and we've basically um, 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 stated our ambition to grow this to 180 million U.S. dollars in the next uh, five years. Historically, the business had a gross CAGR of roughly 10 percent. We think that by combining sales forces, by combining the teams, we actually can even step that up a little bit to 12 and a half percent. Kager in the next uh, five years to come. Um, for the three months to the end of September, if I may move back to the numbers, Conrad, as well, uh, sales fell 21% to a billion Swiss, give or take the change. Core operating profit EBITDA 28% lower. Um, do you just want to run us through kind of some of the factors for people who haven't been looking at the company as well? What are taking those sales uh, and EBITDA numbers lower? Sure, sure, uh, Steve. I think what is important to note is when you say 21% sales down, that is actually including a significant currency effect, an 8% currency effect from the strengthening of the uh, Swiss franc. So if you look at the headline numbers corrected for currency, we see actually um, in local currency uh, sales down by 13%, but there is a, an effect of 5% from our divestment. So really on an organic basis, our volumes year on year were down 5%. Um, are pricing 3%. So in the current environment, if you say year-on-year year volumes down 5%, that is actually a very a very robust uh, and resilient performance. What we're very pleased about, Steve, is actually the pickup if you compare our numbers versus Q2. We saw an overall volume pickup of 2%, and very importantly, like for like, our EBITDA in Q3 versus Q2 up 21%.